Hey everybody, welcome to my next part in my Twitch settings tutorial. Today we're going to be talking all about content and how to use the video producer. Hey everybody, so today we're going to be going through how to use a video producer on Twitch to do a lot of things. I bet you didn't know that from the VODs that you create on Twitch, they are stored for a period of time. From that, you can create clips, you can create highlights, you can even upload them directly to YouTube. So we're going to get into all that and we're going to do that right now. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go on log on to Twitch. Go and click in the upper right hand corner on your profile pic and go down to creator dashboard or video producer. Video producer is a shortcut to get there. If you want to show the long way, you can click on creator dashboard and then you want to go down to content and then click on video producer. So this is going to show you a list of all of the videos that you have on your channel. So my last full video was on April 23rd. This is the 26th and it was four hours and seven minutes so what you can see up here above that are a number of highlights that i made from it just the other day and the way that you make a highlight is you actually on the vod you actually click highlight and that will pull up which is built in video editing tool it does start off with a default time frame but you can manipulate this in any way that you want so the first thing you want to do is they start you off with a highlight and you can create a, a number of highlights. Yesterday off this video, I created 15 highlights um, out of the single video. And what you can do is you can go in and you can modify the title to whatever you want. So we're going to do a test highlight and you can even change the category. So this is going to be just a just chatting one. Chatting. And now you want to go and start your time period and so the way that you do that is you actually want to go ahead and drag this yellow box to where you want it to start from and on the back end you want to drag it to where you want it to stop and so now this is showing exactly how long i have and you can see up here it changed to show the time uh, the the length of time that i selected with that little highlight and once you get it all set to where you want it to, you can go and hit publish if that's all you want to do. If you want to do more, what you want to do is you want to click add new highlight. And so just like the first one, this gives you the opportunity to type in a new title. I could actually go and type in a new category. By default, when you click add new highlight, it's going to start that highlight from the exact moment that your previous one ended in case you're doing just back-to-back -back things and um, but you can definitely change where it start and stops manually and now i can say add highlight again and so on and so forth you can do this a number of times so if i actually said oh actually i meant to i meant to get something a little earlier so let me go there and back so now this highlight three is actually between highlights one and two that isn't a problem. You can, you can definitely do that. When you're all set, you can click on publish highlight. Now, while it's doing this, now you have an opportunity to give it a, a description. You can change the category and all that thing stuff again and click save and next, move on to the next one and next one and next one. And then it's done to actually push this to YouTube. I will show you that now. So I'm going to actually cancel this. And I'm going to delete these just because I don't care to have them up there. This is how you do that. Just click on the ellipses and then click delete. If I actually wanted to push one of these to YouTube or any of them, either one at a time, is I would click this ellipses and I would click export. And then I would upload this directly to YouTube in private or public state. Now, in order to do this, you need to go into your settings 
and you need to link your YouTube account with your Twitch account and then it can happen. If you have not done that, you will not be able to do this. If I wanted to upload multiple videos, I could click like that and click export and then it would export multiple videos. So something else you can do in here is you can actually go and look at your clips. Now these are going to be clips that you have made yourself either uh, from your VODs or that somebody has made while they, you were live. And you can look at the view count, you can look at the created, who created them, and you can choose to um, delete them if you would like to. Okay, or you can share it. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Or you can share it with any of the social media you see listed here, or take the link that they have there and post it and say your Discord if you want to show that on your Discord. Another thing that you can do is you can go and work with collections. Now collections are like sections in YouTube. You create a category essentially of some sort of theme where you want to put your highlights and your clips or your VODs. And so I have numerous ones created for Valheim, Outriders, The Forest, Fallout 76, Borderlands 3, Star Wars, Remnant, and my own stream guide series. So what I do with this is I then take all my highlights and clips, the VODs, and I organize them into these categories so that when people go onto my videos page, on my channel page, they can quickly go to a section and find what they have because you're going to find that you have numerous videos that are being produced, especially when you're making lots of clips and highlights. And so this is a great way to be able to organize that for your viewers. And that is all about how to work with video on Twitch.